guys are criminals. Go well, get your money somewhere else. We're standing at the construction site of the Dakota Access Pipeline. It looks like there are at least three bulldozers that are, to people's surprise at this moment, uh, actually bulldozing the land. There's a helicopter above, there's security here, and hundreds of people have been marching up when they heard that the construction site is actually active right now. My name is Jacob, Jacob Johns. And where are you from? I'm from Spokane, Washington. I'm hoping I'm not coming out there. And can you describe what you see, what they're doing? They are, they're bulldozing. They're bulldozing and preparing to put it, install a pipeline to go into the Ethan River. And above we see a helicopter. The helicopter itself has been following us and taking pictures. And um, we're filming them in return. Come on, guys, oh, come we gotta stop this! People have gone through the fence, men, women, and children. The bulldozers are still going, and they're yelling at the men in hard hats. One man in hard hat threw one of the protesters down, and they're marching over the dirt mounds. Some of the security have dogs. The six bulldozers are pulling back right now. People are marching forward in their tracks. There are men, women, and children. More security trucks are pulling up. There are some protesters on horseback. Gas. People are being pepper sprayed. We are not leaving. 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 Sir, reporter from New York, what are you spraying people with? I haven't sprayed anything. But what is that? Yeah, it just makes me in the face right now. Amy Goodman, this guy makes me in the face. Can you show us the label? Look, it's all over my sunglasses. It just makes me in the face. A dog. Dog bit him right now. dog on me. This fucker throw the dog on me. Look at this. Look at this. Let me say. Let me say. You throw the dog on me. No, you did it on purpose. Let me say. Let me say. Yeah, keep on the dog. Over there. With that dog. I was like walking, throw the dog on me straight, even without any warning, you know? Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, the dog did it, you know? Look at this. Sir, Ma'am, your dog just bit this protester. Your dog just bit that protester. Are you telling the dogs to bite the protester? The dog has blood in its nose and its mouth. And she's still standing here threatening. You can't put your blood on the dog. You're an against your own animal. That's the statement against your own You will let them back. These people are just threatening all of us with them, these dogs. And she, that woman over there, she was charging them and it bit somebody right in the face. And then it charged at me and tried to bite me. And she's still, they're still threatening oh, these dogs against us. And we're not doing anything. Why are you letting their, her dog go after the protesters? It's covered in blood. Protesters said that the dog was bloody from biting them. They then pulled the dogs away, and now pickup truck by pickup truck is pulling away. We'll see what happens. The protesters are moving in. 
to ensure that the security leaves. Let's go check on this woman. What happened? I just saw a lot of maize and the sweat was run, uh, uh, dripping it into, it was, the sweat was making it run down into my eyes. I had my glasses on and that spared me the brunt of it, but then the sweat started putting it in. How are you doing? I'm great. What's your name? Raina Crow. And what do you think you've accomplished today? I hope we've accomplished letting Enbridge know that the people of this nation and the people of this world, tribal or otherwise, have withdrawn their social license to pollute water and that they need to find an honest, nonviolent way to make a living. Where are you from? Duluth, Minnesota. I don't know more Duluth. I got maced twice. I got bit by a dog. I was the front line. Was Where did you get bit? I got bit on the ankle over my booties. So I told them they needed to leave, but the, the guy didn't believe me. So he didn't want to listen. He uh, stuck his hand out and he, he maced me. Uh, this other guy, and I think he maced a, a lady too. Then they, they, they tried getting the dogs on us. So I, was, I was just standing there. I wasn't really doing nothing. That dog ran up on me and it bit my, around my ankle. You push them back though? Yes. Why is this such an important fight to you? Because water is life. Like I said, without water, we'd all, we wouldn't be here. These, these plants wouldn't be here. There'd be no oxygen. We all die without it. I, I wish they'd open their eyes and have a heart to realize, you know, if this happens, we're not going to be the only ones going to suffer. They're going to suffer too. What tribe are you with? I'm Oglala Sioux, Full Blood. From? Pine Ridge Reservation. No one owns this land. This land belongs to the earth. We are only caretakers. We're caretakers of the earth. Oh. Do you feel like you won today? We win every day when we stand in unity. We stand and we fight. How do you feel? What did you accomplish today? We were protecting, protecting our water. water. That's what we were here to do, and that's what we did. Where are your horses from? Crow Creek, South Dakota. And you came from there? Yes, ma'am. And so, describe the scene to us. We protected our water, and we did a good job at doing it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.